In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this coffee mug display rack using pallet wood. There's also a complete step-by-step -step PDF located on our website at woodworkerexpress.com. The link is in the description. And as you can see, it took five pieces to make our coffee mug display approximately 17 and a half inches wide. Now, what I did was I lined them all up and I am going to measure 24 inches, which will be how tall our unit will be. So I will transfer that 24 inches to each one of our pieces of pallet wood. Next, I used a straight edge or another piece of pallet wood that was lying around and lined up all the pieces. What I'm gonna wanna do is cut these all at one time, just to make things a little easier and quicker. You can also cut these individually one at a time. Next, I'm gonna use that same scrap piece of wood and transfer my marks at 24 inches all the way across. And then I'm gonna clamp these pieces together. Now, I'm gonna use a circular saw and cut right down that line. Easy as that. Next, I'll be using 80 grit sandpaper and sanding each one of these pieces of the pallet wood just to get them nice and smooth, get all the hair off. And this is totally optional and up to you. I wanted these to look a little newer and less rustic. Next, I will line up all of my freshly sanded pieces just to kind of lay everything out. And I'm gonna to wanna to put my back support piece that's gonna connect all of these pieces together. So what I did was I measured my width and then I deducted approximately one inch from that length. Now taking two pieces of scrap pallet wood, I'm gonna transfer that measurement, which is roughly 16 and a half inches to these pieces. And then I will clamp them down and cut them. Everything you see in this video is available at Woodworker Express from the clamps to the saws and all necessary screws and hardware that you will see in this video. Next, I'm gonna measure approximately two inches from the top of the piece and two inches from the bottom of the piece downwards. And this is where I'm going to place my back support pieces and attach them. So once again, I will clamp everything so it's nice and even, check to make sure all the pieces line up. Then I'm gonna use an eighth inch drill bit and pre-drill all my holes. Be careful, you're only going through just the top layer. And then you're just gonna screw the inch and 1 8 inch screws right into the piece. Now it's time to stain, paint, or finish this piece. So what I'm gonna do is using a white oil-based stain is I'm gonna give it a nice rustic kind of grayish tone. And be sure whatever you do to the front side, please do to the back side to keep the wood movement all nice and even. If you just stain or paint one side and not the other, your project could warp. Now it's time for hardware installation. Using the hooks that I purchased at Woodworker Express, and some masking tape, I'm gonna lay out each one of these hooks. Now roughly measuring this piece into thirds, I made my marks to transfer onto the tape. For more detailed measurements, please see our PDF that is located in the description down below. Next, just gonna transfer my screw holes with a pen by just tracing the inside of the hole. Now using the screw, I am just gonna pre-drill each one of these holes so that way I could transfer the tape to the wood. You could also pre-drill this with the same 1 8 inch drill bit. I just didn't have one lying around. And next, just screw the hooks to the pallet with the holes that you previously made. Now flip the piece over and install your hangers. Now this coffee mug display is ready to install. Using drywall anchors and inch and an eighth screws, it made it a breeze. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. We'll be more than happy to help. 